Hey guys, Tanner Flowers here. Once again, just finishing up another brand new crawl space encapsulation. This encapsulation, however, just happens to be an encapsulation on top of a uh, DIY encapsulation. See, my friend Joseph Canetta, he lives in Miami, Florida, but he also has a home here in Cleveland. They've been battling moisture problems here. He showed me text messages. He already had a monitor system under here. Moisture levels have been staying 92 to 94 percent. It was practically raining. Getting ready to open up this crawl space door. Show you right now, when, when I seen the monitor before I got finished cleaning up, it was down to 54%. So, let's go in here and take a look at how everything turned out. <clears throat> we did not build a new crawl door on this home. Hang on one second, let me kick my boots off. This door actually seals up rather nicely. And it's nice and thick. So, got my boots off here. Guys, on any of our jobs, you just reach overhead, hit the lights. I will post some before pictures here to show you what this thing looked like. We had a crazy amount of trenches going around all these piers. Crazy trenches going down the front side of this home. I was a little bit nervous when we started it. Because if any of you have been following me for any time at all, you always know how I intend for our jobs to turn out. And what you're looking at right here, I couldn't have done it any better. This is as good as it gets, guys. Got to really thank my team on this one. Clint Presley, Matt Freitag, Isaiah Walker, Chance Widener has now joined us. Man, Chance is way handy. Been building houses, he said, since he was 10 years old. He's had a hammer in his hand. Turned out he was super handy under here with us, and I'm glad to have him on the team. Thank you, Isaiah, for bringing him on board. Isaiah and Chance have been friends, he said, since sixth grade, so... Kind of like Clint and I. Clint and I have been friends since we were in 10th grade. Matt Freitag and myself met when we were 15 year old at the pet shop. We both liked African cichlids. We were just talking about that. Matt had a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Matt. Been friends now 20 years. Any of you guys remember when you were younger and you hear people say, man, that was 20 years ago. You think in your head, man, God, they're old. Well, I know what it feels like now, guys. Because like I said, Matt Freitag and myself have been friends now for 20 years. I guess Clinton, Clinton and me have been about the same. Here's one of his two humidistat fans that we had to install in this crawl space. I like to keep these set around 35%. We want these to kick on to take any stagnant air that made me build it. That, <clears throat> excuse me. We want these to kick on and take out any stagnant air that may become built up inside this crawl space due to the encapsulation. And whenever they kick on as they are right now, see if I... Can you hear that suction? Man, you would be shocked if you went outside this foundation wall, put your hand out there, and just felt how much air these things are pulling out. Before I go any further, we actually did do the insulation in this job. This is an R19 poly encapsulated insulation. It is the only insulation I have ever installed since 2008. I believe in the product that much. I can go ahead and tell you that since 2008, in all of the houses that we install the insulation that you see under, the temperatures underneath here and inside the actual living quarters in the winter time will differ 11 to 13 degrees whereas in the houses that we do not install the poly encapsulated insulation say we just do the encapsulation like what you see right now there will be a three to six degree difference showing you therefore how much more heat you are actually keeping inside your living quarters of your home and it, it is not then being lost inside this crawl space.
coming up here to our right you will see his dehumidifier system which is a Santa Fe Advance 2 Let's see if I can get a close up here guys most of you if you've never seen it hopefully we can get a shot of it here in a second keep your eyes focused on this drain line look at that water coming out of there this unit here has only been running approximately 48 hours and once again Joseph sent me the text yesterday morning moisture levels were down from 92 to 94 percent down to 54 <clears> percent <throat> go back here headed towards the back part of the home I want you to see all this Joseph look up there at that wall the top of it uh, I like to do these jobs with the thought in mind of the homeowner or some service person coming under here in the future and them getting back here in areas like this uh, that you know you, that I can't even like get my head up straight in and they look around and they think well, they no way they did on top of them piers and did everything perfect and they'd be wrong I want them to come in here and be shocked I want them to come outside and go out there and talk to that homeowner and say who in the world did that work underneath this house and thankfully guys that ends up being what we hear over and over and over and I'm proud of that you see I believe that in anything you do in life you should strive to be the very best and when it comes to crawl space encapsulations that's exactly what you're looking at right here we're the best there is We've been the best in a long time. You know, you could call any company you want right now, right this very second, and be my guest. Somebody's going to come out to your house, usually some salesperson. They're going to do everything within their power to get you to sign on the dotted line. They might be able to show you a, a snapshot of a job that some of their workers did that looked halfway decent. And they use that snapshot for all of their marketing material. They're probably going to give you a big fancy pamphlet that they paid a lot of money to have some company make up for them. Guys, I don't have any of that stuff. But what you will get from me, you can get the world's largest crawl space encapsulation video library. And you can spend as much time as you want looking at job after job after job after job. And see if any of them ever change. If you ask anyone else for videos of their work, you will find out rather quickly, not only do they do not have them, but if you really want to know the reason why they don't have them, if that's because if you've seen videos of the work that these other companies do, they will no longer be in business. So, you think any of that's bullcrap? <clears throat> Go ahead and find out for yourself if I'm BSing you. Oh, let's turn this corner here to the left. You aren't going to believe this drop-off coming up on us. What do you think about that, Joseph? How do you think that turned out? I worked right here to your left, right here. I started right here one morning. I went around that corner and made it right over to there. And one day, took me all day to work on what you guys are about to see right here. Oh. Ah, my dumb butt didn't even put my knee pads on to come back under here and do this. I always forget that. Oh, look at this drop off. No, this is not the prettiest stuff in the world. But, look here. You can get all the way down in here, standing comfortably, with confidence. This ain't, this ain't tearing. I did all this custom, handmade. What do you think it took me all day? Look here. I'll do, I'll, I'll do a full 360 zoom in right around here. Look at this. Look here. Look all the way down to the corners. Maybe this is your first time watching any of our videos. Maybe I'm a complete stranger to you. You don't know who I am from Adam. But guys, my name's Tanner Flowers, and I own this company here, Tennessee Technicians. I started it in 2005. All we used to do was wildlife removal, which is one of our still, which is still one of our biggest services that we do, in addition to crawl space encapsulations, which we started doing these crawl space encapsulations back in 2008. Mmm. Doing what you see in this video here is the only thing that I am aware of that will keep moisture levels below 50% year-round. As stated a few minutes ago, 
as of just an hour or so ago when I looked at that monitor last inside his house now these levels were down to 54 percent he did tell me that they were down to 52 this morning look at that cutout and stuff right here guys hopefully I'll be able to get you some before shots of that show you what we were dealing with be sure to let any service people know Joseph if they're coming in here to do any work for you to please stay off from around the trenches of the piers they are all secured anchored very heavily but you know the least traffic on them the better <clears throat> making our way back towards the entry now check out that Joseph that's what I've been working on the past two hours straight here's his second humidistat fan right over here to our left look around that entry there Joseph And there you have it, another finished job by the crawl space artist. We really give it our all, guys. Look at that. See if you can look behind me. You know, I've done over a hundred of these jobs over the years and it never ceases to amaze me. Looking back through there on a finished job. Wow, look at that. Man. It's literally a completely new environment under here once we're finished up. Don't have to worry about moisture anymore. Everything is sealed up with metal as well before we ever got started. So, Joseph, I appreciate you letting us do this work for you. Thank you for uh, contacting me. Thank you for putting your trust in us. And if you need anything in the future or if you need any services here at this home and you're down in Florida, and you want to call me and get my opinion on who to use and who not to use, feel free to give me a shout, just as all of you can, on my cell phone at 423-503-0512. And we're getting ready to load everything up here and head down the road to Appison, Tennessee. And stay tuned because we just recently finished up a crawl space encapsulation in Appison in the Crystal Brook subdivision. They liked us so much they're going to have us back. We're going to be working on a block away on the road, which is just, a, excuse me, a block away from the house that we finished just, uh, just a couple months ago. A friend of mine named uh, Jared Peace. So Jared, if you're watching this, we're going to be just behind you starting all next week. Guys, thank you for supporting us. Thank you for watching the videos. Got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Visit us online at crawlspaceartist.com. And if you've got any nuisance wildlife problems, visit us at clevelandtnwildliferemoval.com and we'll get you taken care of. Thank you so much, and as always, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.